Lord, this is holy ground we're standing on, ground that you've provided for your work and for your purposes. And even just walking this property and looking at the, the uncultivated land here, we could see your grace and, uh, and your glory and the little glimpses of what this property will be used for and what it will become. And I pray and I devote, Lord, this land, this property, Lord, to your honor and your glory, may everything, Lord, that is done here, all the planning, Lord, for this property, Lord, be motivated and led by the Holy Spirit. You would bring us halfway across the world, this group of people, to stand on this property this day and ask for your blessings on the future of this land. That's an amazing thought. And so, God, we just pray that you would give wisdom, that you would give direction, and that everything that's done here from here on out would bring honor and glory to you. Father, I just thank you that that in that vision that you chose um, these individual people. Father, it doesn't have to be us, but you chose us, and you've called us out of where we were to where we are now and in this place and in this time. There's nothing that we could have done to get ourselves to this place. You've just given us this. You've given us an opportunity to participate with you in something incredibly special. And as I think about the thousands of people that are around this land right now who don't know that my daddy lives here, that, that he loves them too. God, make this place a beacon of mercy. Shine a light to the places around here that everybody would know that this is the place where our daddy lives. God, as I think about just a few minutes from here, there's people who never even heard the gospel from anyone. You've given us an opportunity, an avenue to go there and to share your, your amazing hope with them. Father, I just pray that you allow us to serve well.